were just talking about uh, the challenge. Uh, oh, I just stepped out of it. That's funny. Um, the new button for challenge tracker. Uh, have you seen that? The where'd it go? Doop do. Just right from the right from here. The challenge tracker button. Right, so you don't have to edit the profile. That's very cool because a lot of times what we're doing, uh, you know, if it's already got the everything, the yeah. uh, like I have like the Facebook ID is already in there, but I need to go to Facebook and, and not Facebook, um, family, family search. I need to go to family search and update it there. Then I needed to come back and then I need to edit something to get it to work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was a, one of those little changes that got uh, uh, put in to this last week. So it was really exciting. Saves a lot of time that way. Definitely. It's right there. So we're just talking about that and that Zoom backgrounds. <laughs> How's your day going? It's been crazy, but it's going pretty good. I I totally, you know, it's kind of funny. I, I looked at my my uh, alarms and goes, oh. Oh, I was supposed to be somewhere nine minutes ago. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that happens all the time. I I sometimes I be going throughout my day and I'm thinking it's the day before or the day after. It's crazy. Last week I was thinking on Tuesday, I was thinking it was Wednesday. No, it's the wrong, not that day. I hate yet. it when that happens, and then you get to Friday, you get to Thursday, it's like definitely should be Friday by now. <laughs> yeah, I've been, um, I, I've, I've taken on kind of a new position, and you know, I keep thinking I'm gonna get this done, and then something happens in the middle of my day, and I just get kind of sidetracked by everything else I need to get <laughs> yeah it's crazy I like that it's right there at the top too because it, alphabetically you know it's at the top of the list that's so funny uh, so uh, what are, what's what are y'all working on this is working on trying to link my one place study people Nice. That's cool. Good kids and so Yeah. I, I, I spent a lot of time because being in, 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 in the UK, well, being in the UK, my one place study is Barry, um, but they might not be registered in Barry. They might be registered in Cardiff nearby. Uh -huh. So I went through a whole, I went through nearly th like a thousand pages of Cardiff Morgan just to make sure that I hadn't missed any. So. Wow. Yeah. That's cool though. I awesome. think I found most of them like 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 that want to be found. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I I don't know if you guys saw, but I posted on the a comment on this the the post about um if anybody uses Discogs, it's a um for musicians if you have any notables that that if you um you can add a link back to WikiTree on a discogs profile you just have to have an account it takes a while for them to actually let you make the edit <laughs> oh. it's like a, i think it's like a 30-day wait before you can make an edit but it did work so that was kind of cool yeah i had i was looking at that one because honey could you turn the light on for me please it's a little i'm a little dark in here <laughs> i look like that because <laughs> i'm in italy so so Stephanie, we're we're both. I think we're the reason why there's this call. That's <laughs> that's kind of not it. So late in the middle of the night, right? Because if it was like on a Friday or Saturday, I'd I'd be willing to. I'd I'd, I'd be happy to just deal with yeah. the late light and just and just. But being on a yeah. Tuesday and it's a work. It's it's it's, it's work in the morning. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. What you mean. And I I um I used to work late because my clients are mostly in the U.S. 
So I used to have two nights a week where I would work. I would start one call at 1 a.m. my time, which got done about 2, and one at 2 a.m. my time, which got done about 3. And I decided I was just getting a little too old for that. <laughs> I said, yeah. I used to be able to do this so much easier. But, you know, the two nights a week, it was like, oh, my gosh, one night a week, maybe I could do it. Two nights a week, it was getting to be a little painful. Well, yeah, I've been doing two things kind of in tandem. I well, so I'm working on the um, USB H 1880 census project oh, where yeah. we're trying mm -hmm. to put all of the African Americans in that were in the 1880 census on WikiTree. And so while I'm doing that, I mean, I'm either looking to see because I they always want us to try to find more than one one record that can show that they were African-American because sometimes, you know, you just don't know what will be in one census is not in another. And so to make sure everything was right, they like for us to find two different sources. So I'm always going to family search and looking up things. And I usually find a family search profile, Backer. or if mm -hmm. I don't, I end up creating a family search profile to try to pull in multiple sources, you know? Yeah. And so yeah. I've been doing a lot of that. And so that's one of the reasons why I have so many this this month is because I've been doing um, that project too. And they've just been kind of like, I've been double dipping. You yeah. Know? I get a point yeah. for them and I get a point for this. So I've been double dipping. But yeah. also, <laughs> also, I have a tendency to, it takes me almost three months to clean up my my connectathon stuff to be ready for the next connectathon. So I, while I'm cleaning all that up and making sure everything, you know, I didn't leave any messes and everything looks good. I go and I find the family, family search thing and, and put it in there too. So I'm a little lazy. I'm only, I'm only doing family search for the most part. I started doing, I had started doing, um, and you can tell me what you think about this, Azure. I had started doing find a grave and I was just wondering if, anyone was going to complain about us posting WikiTree links back, you know, all the time to, to find a grave. Uh, so I, I kind of pulled out of that one for a while. I haven't had, um, I've been doing this for a while and I haven't had anybody complain about mm -hmm. the ones I do. Okay. Um, Cause I'm just, we're not actually leaving the URL. It's not an actual link. So mm -hmm. um. 2000 flowers no, it's back just in. the yeah <laughs> but that's since i start i mean that's yeah, you know it's so just been, the profile id yeah. how did you find out how many yeah. flowers you added i like that i like that profile it's... id better i like that one better that flower because i was using the orange one i didn't like that one so much yeah i like the heart i don't know it i just like the heart more, it's I more like uh heart. subtle it's subtle. I might be willing. I might be willing to go back and start doing them again with that heart. I like that heart. So it's on your uh, find a grave profile, yeah. and then um, it's right here. Flowers added oh. on your contributions section. Yeah. I'm on one hundred eleven. I've got a long way to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many I did either. I got I started doing them and then well and in this in this um this 1880 census thing that we're doing, uh -huh. I found that the that the the county I was born in, I mean we are in Tennessee, so there's a lot of you know blues yeah. and country music and stuff like that going on. But I've been trying to connect to this guy because he's an unconnected notable. And He's an African American, and I found um, I have now probably a hundred people connected to him, but we're not not connected to the big tree yet. Oh, isn't that crazy? You just feel like it you is. keep just going it and going, is. and, I, and then it's, it's just like, like I keep finding because you eventually, unfortunately, when it comes right down to it, because of you know because of the the slavery history and everything you almost eventually have to find someone who's connected somewhere to someone who's not african-american um in order yeah, to like a spouse to really, or, yeah you know, because it's yeah. so hard um you know there's that big there's that big hard stop right yeah. before you know at at the civil war so it it is hard 
to, to get people connected like that. And so I've been working really hard to try to get him connected. His name is Cordell something Reagan. And he's on Discogs. And um, so I was thinking, well, I, cool. I thought I, I thought I was so close. I thought I had gotten him. And then I said, well, I could I could put him on Discogs now that I, I think I've been there long enough. They'll let me do it. But I uh -huh. still haven't gotten them connected. I haven't, fixed his un <laughs> I haven't fixed his unconnected status yet, but I'm looking. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. It's really, you know, uh, Sandy and I do these, uh, we switch off with um, doing the spotlight profile of the week with musicians and then actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's just like, uh, you know, they, they might have a profile, but they don't have anybody even connected. They don't mm -hmm. even have any family on. So it's like, if we want to do something for somebody, it's, you have to try to get them on there or connected or something. So, yeah, but, um, yeah. she did, uh, she did Donald Sutherland last week because, you know, he passed yeah, away. So I saw that. Yeah, that was, that was good. Yeah. We were able to do him. There's a new yeah. one. That there's the guy that did, from Crazy is it Crazy Town that did Butterfly. He's just died today. Oh really? Oh no, I didn't. I didn't hear. Yeah, just huh. a few hours ago announced. Oh man. And then newspapers. I don't know if you have a newspapers.com subscription. That's another I place. do. I do. And I've been trying to trying to look at it to see how I, you know, because I, I, I have been going over there a little bit. So I I do primarily find a grave, but I have also been doing some ancestry. And um I've not been doing wiki data, you know, it's just not there's only so, you know, I, I'm I also have so much to get done on my own ancestry cleanup that I yeah. don't want to get caught spending a lot of time doing all of these different things. You know, uh, I feel like I've got a bunch of things. I, I have a, I use family tree maker, which uh, is a, you know, yeah. a ancestry tool. And I've created a, um, a custom fact there called wiki tree ID and I always, after I, and quite honestly, almost everything I do in the connectathons is family. I don't go out to looking for other stuff. And we're, we're, I've got a huge Italian uh, tree that I've made for my husband's community here that has over 11,000 people in it. Oh, and wow. my own tree has like 29,000 people in it. Yeah. And my goal is to get all of the, everybody that's in all of these trees onto WikiTree. So I always put in not during the connectathon because I got to be fast during the connectathon. But after the <laughs> connectathon, I go back in and put in, you know, in, that into my tree so I don't fly to, I don't have to worry so much about looking for them later. If I know if I've already got right. them, I don't have to look for them later. And it does. It takes me a long yeah. time. I get distracted and I don't go back and do them all because I think last connectathon I did like fifteen hundred profiles, and that means uh -huh. I have to go through and put that into fifteen hundred people. You know? and, yeah. Um, so it takes a little while, but while I'm doing that, I can almost always get the family search one done because I'm having to look at family search while yeah. I'm just cleaning things up. And so that one's easy. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the low hanging flute fruit right now. Quite yeah. Honestly. Yeah. I got gotcha. the low hanging fruit, but the, uh, some of the other things we could get, but you know, discogs, if I see somebody who I know should be like in Wikipedia or should be in discogs or should be, you yeah. know, in something else. Those I want to do because anybody will catch up someday and put them on family search or whatever, yeah. but those are important to do. So I, I, uh, but I was kind of bummed that I haven't been able to connect him to the big tree yet. Yeah. It's really funny. It's how it, there's just that one person you got to find to connect them and then, and then it's like, <laughs> boom. <laughs> and I tell you, I can get, I can get, I can go down such a rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> you know see, I don't even know these people I mean that you know it's kind of like that I don't even know these people I've spent five hours today trying to find <laughs> I don't even know these people what's going on here <laughs> oh. yeah oh. but it's good 
Yeah, that's what, uh, I, what I was working on this month. Uh, some is the, the Auschwitz initiative mm -hmm. and doing that. And so, um, yeah. I was, so, um, I was looking into that because I know some people from Guernsey and Alderney and Jersey ended up at Auschwitz. It's just where I live. Mm -hmm. I live in um, the Channel Islands. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. And so, yeah. And I, and, but I don't think I have the confidence to even be doing research there yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really interesting. Um, like the, the ones that I was doing earlier this month, it was like this whole, um, oh, what, where, where was that? That was, uh, I was just in there. Oh, it was this one. It was on my, <laughs> this last name. I just ended up um, doing a whole family because uh, I would I would look at the, the siblings and I would say, oh, all the siblings are also here at Auschwitz. And so mm -hmm. um, even though they weren't on the spreadsheet from uh, the Memorial Museum, they were actually also there. So yeah. it's just really interesting. This whole family is. I run uh, into that a lot too with the with the with the 1880 census. As I end up putting people on that I found from the 1870 census, found from the 1990 census. Found, you know, it's like I, it's like I got started here, but it does. It just you becomes... ended up clear over here. Yeah, yeah. That's what happened with this family. There was like the spouses and the spouses, siblings, and parents, and it was all there, and it's like. The whole family and so then it was like okay well i i had to just like um i needed to ha add some people that actually lived you know it just I got to the that. point They're where like, like only one survivor it gets it gets really it really gets kind of yeah it gets it gets heart heavy to be you have to like projects yeah so i just try to stick to like doing it a certain time uh or like you know um mm -hmm like only for a certain a period of time for each day or a couple of days a week or whatever like that because it was just like yeah so you can see 1943 1943 uh 19 yeah, yeah. 19, these all died in 1943 oh this is the one that lived she migrated to america i yeah. mean she but she survived you know she was able to escape so that was like okay you know, then I was able to say, okay, I'm done with this family. <laughs> Cause yeah. I just, I had to get like past that anyway. It was just kind of yeah. interesting. I know what but, you mean. It's, it's true. You just have to kind of move past it. I but, find here um, in Italy that we have a situation where parents will name a, so if a child died, they would mm -hmm. name the next child right after it, you know, the same yep. name. And one day I, um, I was, because I do a lot of my work from original records. So I'm looking at all these church records and I just kind of build the tree based on, okay, this Giuseppe and Mary have the Maria have this, you know, Giovanni. Oh, Giuseppe and Maria, they have a Maria. They, they look like they could be the same Giuseppe and Maria. You know, I got to see, do they look like they're the same family kind of a deal? And I, there was this one family that they had a baby and I said oh god don't name this baby that right because they had had like five yeah who had died before with the same name and I said eventually I think I would just say we've honored our ancestors enough I'm not going to name this child that name again yeah. because I'm just afraid you know I said please don't name that child that please don't name that child that and it, get, it does it gets very you you really get involved in the story and you start yeah. to think about yeah. what they went through and what their lives were like that they ended up with five children the same name you know and so when yeah. you're also doing that holocaust thing you just look at it you like you say i need to i ha i have to have a good story out of this i need to find something yes. that gets me that lifts me up to get past this because it's getting pretty deep yeah yeah that's exactly right yeah i've seen that a lot where uh, I think I was in Canada doing one of the challenges and it was like that there was multiple uh, died young and they had renamed they'd reused the name over and over mm -hmm. again it was just like no 
stop that, stop that. Yeah, I know. Well, then, then in Germany, they just reuse the names and, and they and they just change the order of, you know, you'll have like, <laughs> there's like 12 Georgs in the family and they all have a different middle name and you think they probably went by the middle name, but it just gets so frustrating to look at their names. My, my ex-husband's German, my husband's Italian, so I do a lot of German records, a lot of Italian records, and I just... I just said, oh my goodness, we can't have another Gottlob in this family. Can we can we please not have another Gottlob in this family? That is so funny that you say that because <laughs> uh, the Germany project just helped me break down this brick wall of my uh, second great grandfather. And this is so I have added his siblings and it Carl, is like Carl, that. Carl, Carl, Carl. <laughs> it's just like Christmas reordered Christmas. or the they just move them around in the lake. Yeah, they're just moved around and you wonder <laughs> who is called what, you know? Yeah. You, it, know, you have a, a Carl Friedrich <laughs> and a Carl Friedrich Wilhelm and a Johannes Friedrich Wilhelm. Well, you think that one of them was probably Carl and one was probably Johannes, but then I don't know. There's another Carl and another Carl. Oh, there's a bunch of Carls in there. They must have had a lot of, yeah. And, and you're just like, come on, people, get get come up with some new names already you know great exactly well it it, it was really interesting because he had this book pages of this book this uh, family book for this town for this village that they lived in and the the names they had a, they typed out the names but the one of the names out of the four or five whatever <laughs> was extended lettering so it was like this is their name name this is the name is they went name by name. yeah yeah and so yep. it was that was really interesting so that's what i uh on their profiles that i indicated that by the yeah, yeah you know like, yeah, yeah know. so it's yep. really that was really interesting how many variations of yeah. the names yeah. that there were how many how, many, like, how many ways can you put three names together to be the same to be different <laughs> names, yeah. i've got to yeah. say though it's, it is really unique isn't it <laughs> you, when you look at a name you know where it belongs to yeah 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 oh my goodness it was boy i tell you yeah it is it is tough in my family, we just had everybody went by their middle name. I know every one of my aunt's middle names because nobody went by their middle name. Oh, that's really interesting. Mary yeah. Catherine. My grandmother was Mary Catherine. Hilda Lois. I think Francis Allen is the only one. Aunt Francis was a Francis. But, I mean, they were all, you know, Winona Jean. She was Jean. Hilda Lois. She was Lois. Interesting. Mary Catherine. Yeah. She was Catherine. Huh. It was... It was just everybody just went by their middle names. My mother is Martha Jane, and she went by Janie. So it everybody wow. went by their middle names. Huh. Yeah. So it's um, I mean, I'm excited. I'm glad I made it here to see the <laughs> to see the new thing for the for the list, so I don't have to edit something just to say I did. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. It's it's pretty cool. I mean, I have a tendency that if I do edit it, then I run, you know, the the bio builder on it and I Yeah. <laughs> you know, if I'm it gonna sucks open you it into... up to edit it, I get sucked into making it prettier. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So you're doing a one place study, huh, Stephanie? Yeah, of my, where I'm from, Barry, mm -hmm. in um, Wales. I'm unofficially doing a one place study um, because I built this tree yet from local churches right here where my my husband's family's from. So I'm officially unofficially created a one place study here. That's awesome. I I start, it. well, it's quite a big one place study because it's that realization that is prime even now it's it has fifty thousand people in so it's yeah. something i'm working towards but um it's it is the realization that um most of the people that i come across are related to me so i was like yeah i had such big families i I was like i might as well learn about who they were next door and just 
do a one place study. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> well, it's really interesting how um, when you do those, you learn the, those uh, collateral lines or the neighbors, you find out some information about your relatives sometimes that way, which is yeah. really helpful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, that's one of the reasons why when I'm doing things like this USBH um, 1880 thing, I've specifically taken on the counties mm -hmm. where my family's from, because not only that, but while you're looking at the, because especially when you're dealing with a study like that, many times the African Americans kind of bunched themselves together and lived in the same place and mm -hmm. and so you have a tendency to go look at who else is on the page just to make sure you caught everybody and everything looks right and you find things then other names pop out oh i know that name do i have that person in my tree yet they got to be related somewhere to us you know and um yeah so it is it, doing a one place study can really help track down your own heritage too that you because it's really easy to gloss over it if you're not if you're just looking for a particular name you lose all of yeah. that the whole yeah. fan idea you know family um acquaintance friends, neighbor. friends acquaintances and neighbors you know yeah. you gotta look at all of those too to see who was hanging out together all the time i'm also part of the wales project um looking at the veterans that died in world war one from barry oh, uh-huh uh-huh yeah there's about 750 Mm hmm so that's that's a big that's a big task so that's a yeah. big one right there yeah <laughs> yep so this is a small area i mean currently there's only six thousand people in our in our town well it's kind of like a comune in italy is kind of like an extended town it's not really a county it's not big enough to be a county but it's like you know, think about in the United States, especially, I don't know how it is in, in, in Wales, but in the United States, you might have, you might have an address that says you're in New Johnsonville, Tennessee, but you live out in the country somewhere, right? So yeah. all of those people would be included in the 6,000 that we have. It's not just the town limits kind of a deal. Mm -hmm. And, um, so these three little churches up in the mountains where there really aren't that many people, because I haven't even done the big town yet. I'm just doing these little bitty places where my husband's family is from. So in in 300 years, I've got 12, 11, 12,000 people because there and there were probably no more than, you know, 500 people at a time living. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that's you, when you get to bigger area, bigger places, like if you've got 50,000 people there now, you could end up with a million oh, people. It, it is prime because when done, the docks right? was built and the, and the, when the docks were built, it, it gained quite quickly. And that was in 1890s. So yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a, ta it's, it's just a work in progress. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> continual, continual work. It never, it never ends. Kind of never ends. But I don't live there now. I live in, let's say, the Channel Islands now. So I go. Yeah, you said time. you're in the Channel Islands, yeah. Yeah, so I live in Guernsey. I've been here for nearly uh, nearly 15 years now. So cool. So I've I've gone from a big big city, big town, to a an island where I feel like, right, how do I get off this island now? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Where there was like fifty thousand pipe people just alone in Barry, and then you could just go out. There's only sixty thousand people on my island. Yeah, that's about like where my daughter lives. She lives on Whidbey Island outside of Seattle. I think there's less than a hundred thousand people on the whole island. Yeah, um, if that. And part of that's because north, the north part of the island has a naval base. So mm -hmm. that's a little more populated, but down where she lives, it's very scarcely populated. And, and so they don't have a lot of people there, but yeah, it, island living is different. You kind of get on island time where everything just it, slows it, down. It, Nobody's in a hurry to get much of anything done. <laughs> it took me years <laughs> to get the hang of it. Like years, <laughs> like literally like, what am I doing on this island? I can't just leave. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, are you oh. close? Enough? You're not even close enough. Are you? Do you have ferries? Oh uh, yeah, we have ferries. So, uh, long, well, we're close to France take? than we are to Eng the, the England. The England. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. So we're about an hour. Well, we I, we we have like trips. We can have day trips to France, and I and it takes a good few hours to get to England. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. But then we've got planes as well, so just yeah. jump on a I plane. Think a, I think the as long as it's not foggy, is like 20, 20, 25 minutes. It's not a, it's not a really long trip. No. So, so she's right in Puget Sound. You can, you can almost see it from when you're stand, you know, looking out. But yeah. yeah. I don't know. One of the reasons why I decide I've really focused a lot on WikiTree. I, I've I've been on. I think I've only been on WikiTree maybe five, six years. But one of the reasons I really focused on it is because I have done so much work, and my kids are all, all the family all wants to hear about it. They're all excited that I have found all of these things, but I haven't found anyone who wants to really take it yes, over. Yes, I know. You know, <laughs> and I just keep worrying that. Well, I put so much work into this. Do I really want it just to get lost if something happens to me? You know, it, it just felt like to me, I, yeah. and ancestry is, you know, family search is just to, I, I can't tell you how many merges I've had to undo just in dealing with, you know, these other projects. They're not like, again, they're not even my family. And oh my <laughs> gosh. I have just, uh, you know, I have just had to fix all of these people that took forever because someone merged three people with the same name into um. one person and they've got six wives now and they've got you know, all this stuff. So I thought, no, I, I don't want to just, I don't want to risk it on family search. I got to put it somewhere where at least it will be. It, it, it can be changed people can contribute to it but it but to really mess it up it takes it takes some work to really mess it up you have to yeah you know, different standards to, yeah. different standards so yeah that's one of the reasons why i decided to put so much time into WikiTree is i just didn't want to see all the all the decades i've put into this just end up in a box somewhere because nobody knew what to do with it yeah same i also love a little x you know, like but where you can take yourself out of the from from the um you can take yourself off of the trusted list just by clicking the X next to your name. Yeah. That's really great for me too. When you're doing all of these things, like you're adding, you know, you're adding things with through all of these projects. I really don't need to be their manager forever. And I'd like it's so nice just to be able to click it and say, okay. Yeah. On you go. <laughs> on you go. Yeah, I, I've I've definitely part. on you go. I've definitely pulled back on how many profiles I'm on the trusted list for just because it's just well, like I'm constantly having to pare mine down because I'm constantly nearing the I'm almost always at the five thousand. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so then after something like Connectathon, I, I bloat to, you know, crazy yeah. stuff. So I think I was down before before the last Connectathon though down, I was down under four thousand. And I yeah. just haven't cleaned it up. So I'm still over 5,000 right now, but it does. It's it's like, you just have to kind of let go. But there are, there are some that even though you don't know who they are, you know what that's like, that you don't even yep. know who they are, but, but something about you doing the profile and doing the work and finding something really important about it or something special about it. It's I hard to let go to for a while. Yep. I, I know. I'm the same way. <laughs> I can't make myself click the X and, and make it go away because <laughs> I put a lot of, I, I just felt like I, I got to know that person and I want to keep them around me for a little longer. I'm like that with my World War One guys because I do so much research into it and I'm like, but I know him. He's he's like me. He's, he's like my brother, my my, my father. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Yeah. My cousin, my uncle. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. That's funny. Yeah. Well, anything else <laughs> new? I mean, so we got Discogs that's new, and I've been. I know how to do Ancestry. I'm not. I'm not making myself do Wikidata yet. Um. I, I like I said I, I do the things that kind of come Fit naturally what you're doing. in what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. I'm not mm -hmm. I'm not just doing link builders just because I'm trying to build you know do the link builders. They just happen because they fit naturally in the other things that I'm doing right now. And that and, makes um, sense. Yeah. I'm actually doing a spreadsheet yep. so just so I can keep an eye on what what I've done. Because I have a tendency of putting through the, I put tendency of putting through and like, oh, I forgot to go to Ancestry and had a look. And then I got to add it, re-add it to the challenge tracker again. Yeah. Yeah, I get, I get kind of 
I get kind of sloppy and forget to do the challenge checkers sometimes too. So now that we can kind of get back to it without too much trouble, it's kind of nice too. We just won't ever abuse it. We'll just make sure that we, <laughs> we've yeah. done the work. We've done the work. I mean, some of the, <laughs> the some of the ones that you work on where you're creating um profiles, yeah. they're very specific. They tell you they want you to click the checker before you, as soon as it's created before you make any other changes and stuff. And I'm like, oh gosh. <laughs> it's hard to remember all these steps. It's hard to yeah. remember all these steps. Yeah. Yeah. This will definitely make this part easy, easier. Yeah. Because this is one where you can get by a lot of times without having to do much editing. If I mean, technically, like for for family search, I do still open it up most of the time and put in the family search template, even though I could just click the little, you know, family search connector yeah. on the side too. I usually uh -huh. do both because I know some people don't really pay attention. Look over to there. That. They don't look over there, but they'll see it in the profile. So I do usually end up having to edit, but sometimes it's already in there. And it's just not been, we haven't put our link on the family search side. So there are times when I really could use not having to edit it just to do that tracker. Yeah. So that's great. All right. All right. Well, do you guys have anything else you want to see or talk about? No, this was good. I'm glad that I was able to get here. I'm sorry I was late. I It just went right over my head. Oh, it's okay. No worries. Next time I'll be better. <laughs> and thanks for putting on the extra slot for us. Yes, thank you very oh, much. Oh, yeah. I no worries. That. I'm happy to. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. All right. We'll see I'll you see later. You guys later. Okay, bye bye. 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 Yeah, the earlier one we were talking about the. Well, I guess I'll just show everything at once here. Let's see. Boop, boop, boop. Here's the tree profile. I'm just going to grab the ID and go on over to find a grave. Where is it? There you go. And down here where it says leaf flower, just click that. Oh. <laughs> Not signed in, sign in. So leave a flower. And um, I they have a section here for my scrapbook. You can have loaded up images to use as a flower. <clears throat> and I like using the little heart. So just select that. And then I just type in the ID and then I put on wiki tree and add flower and note. And that's all it is. That's how you do it. Okay. And, and now with uh, the challenge tracker on the menu, so on the person's profile in the menu options, right here at the top, challenge right. tracker. Yay. We love it. <laughs> we were talking about that the earlier call, how wonderful it was. So love it. I'm just going to go over and add it real quick to also the family search profile for this person. Let's do them all at once. I just add a little note here for this one. And let's see if there's an ancestry record. All right. Let's grab a couple of these. And then there's the marriage record. Just gonna add a two. So that back here, where was I? Oh, I'm back in the other, right here. <laughs> to do find a grave, family search, and ancestry.
All right. So that was that one. The other one I was going to do, let's see if it's going to let me into, into uh, Wikipedia now. <laughs> if I can look at Logbed. I think it's been five minutes. Just created this new notable profile. Mm -hmm. So he's not on Wiki data. We're just going to add him there. Okay, so here's Edward Mullins wiki data page and I'm just going to grab his wiki tree ID and scroll down. It's going to add a statement. Tree person ID, pop that in there and publish. All right, so that was wiki data and I'm just going to go to his family search again. Helps if I spell right. Okay, and then there's a birth and marriage record we can leave a comment on. No find a grave. This one. Okay. So we got. So on Ancestry, you're you're commenting on the index page for the record. Yeah. So if there is like a, a uh, birth, marriage, or death record for them, I that's where I leave the comment. Okay. Yeah. So now I just go to here, the challenge tracker. Oh, and IMDB. He has an IMDB page. So that's why I had my other thing up here. Where's this profile go? Because I have a IMDB account. Oh, here it is. Okay, so here's IMDb. I don't know if you've seen this one yet, Kathy. Um, but on IMDb, you can edit the page. If you have set up an account, it's free. And you just scroll down towards the end. And under links to other sites, miscellaneous, oh, just okay. add, one, add one item. And then you continue. And I've done so many of these that just pre populates here. I just add in the ID. And then I just say the genealogy of Edward Mullins. Edward Mullins, I mean. And then just do check these updates. And it's green, it means it's good to go and then submit those uh, updates. Yeah, and, uh, I, have a, you. I have an account at the IMDB, but I've never done anything on the site itself except for just look at information. Mm -hmm. And um, Discogs, if you set up an account, oh, let me finish doing this real quick. So link builders, no find a grave, family search, a Wikidata, Family Search, IMDb, Ancestry. Okay, so that one's done. So uh, I added a, a screenshot on Discogs. If you set up your account, they will allow you then, I think it's like 30 days. I was finally able to go in and edit the profile for Roy, Roy Oberson to add a link back to Wikitree. Okay. Yeah. So that, that is an option. So, um, 
just another way to, to go about doing that. So if you have musicians you want to do. So we got, we're at almost 1100 links, uh, ancestors with links back, but we are at the total here. Do that real quick, I just want to see where we're at. The total links is 1426. Oh, so that's nice. Yeah, because this is the account of ancestor profiles that have links back to them. Multiple, some of them have multiple links back. So, right. Like I just did four sites. So, it's fun. I was hoping to get more done this time, but we had Danita. She's going, she was really excited to hear about the challenge tracker. Oh, my God. <laughs> change because she she does a lot on family search so awesome yeah who's number four on the list i can't read it from here that's me <laughs> who's the one above you alice thompson who's the one in between 89. you guys uh that's just all her names oh that's all the names yeah, her last That's name. That's why yeah. I, I couldn't make that into a name because it's not a name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the AKA. Of, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And Darren usually always does, you know, he, he does Darren quite a few. everywhere. Everything. Yeah, he does a lot of notables. So it's cool. He gets those in there. And Steph, uh, Steph and Danita were at the earlier one. Uh, Steph's doing a one place study, so she's been uh, doing okay. those. Yeah. Danita says that she's kind of doing a one place study because she's working in the town that they're in in Italy, and it's like all her husband's family and everything. Uh, it's an unofficial one place study. <laughs> That's fun. Do you have anybody who's doing the fandom pages? Has anybody picked up on that? Uh, no, it's just basically me <laughs> that's been doing them. Yeah. They're, uh, I like to just search and see what comes up for a person mm -hmm. and like pick the top three or four that are ranked, you know, the top three or four ranked in Google. Yeah. I don't know. It's just an easy place where you can add stuff. Yeah, it is. And they usually have, and while I'm at it, I do the other, you know, the other ones as well. Yeah. Yeah. And on the challenge page, I have, uh, so these little links right here, I've got searches so that somebody could do a wiki tree plus search for yeah. a fandom site like if there's a fandom site link on the on a page on wikitree oh nice that's cool yeah so i got i'll have to try that that is cool because that that domain search you know you can search for yeah. a domain and it it's really cool yeah can you throw the link to that page in the chat yeah i could go look for it but i'm lazy <laughs> That's no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you're like me, I want it as easy as possible. Give me the link so I don't have to go hunt for it. Oh, I know it's so bad. <laughs> well, when Wiki Tree first came out, I kept asking a couple of people for links for searches that I could do. And they give it to me and they're like, Kathy, just bookmark it. I do bookmark it, but then I don't know where I bookmark it. Oh, I know. It. <laughs> I probably asked Julie for like the same links. She's probably really tired of that, but I'm... <laughs> she's happy to go look for me, Julie. So I'm, I'm, she's the one who's made me lazy. <laughs> it's all her fault. <laughs> I'm totally blaming her. Uh, 
she does it for me. Does it. Where am I looking for this? Oh, it's in this chat, in the Zoom chat. I'll put it in the other chat. No, I got it. Sorry. I mean, what am I looking for to be able to see the? Oh, it's stuff? all the way to the. It's all the way at the bottom okay. of the page. Ten. It's uh no. Oh, I see. Ten and eleven. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So if you just click the link, you can even edit. Just edit out what you know, however you want it to be. But yeah. Oh, cool. Let's see. How many have a Wikipedia link? Yeah. Yeah, and you can Only do. Only twenty-two. That surprises me a little bit, just because we have Stephen Greenwood, who is one of the creators of Wikipedia. Uh huh. I guess it's got some of the main ones. That's cool. I'm gonna work on Star Wars. Yeah, I was going through the Tardis with you one, pretty at a pretty good clip there for a while. They have. <clears throat> I've had pretty good luck on fandom. Yeah, and I was talking earlier with um Danita and Steph and uh Danita was asking about the reaction from find a grave people if there have been people that kind of like complain about the wiki tree profile ID on it and I was just showing her you know I haven't had any problems we're just with leaving the ones them I've done. on flower comments right yeah, see, this is the ones I've done. Here's some from earlier. And it just looks like that. It's just the profile ID and then on Wikitree. It's not an actual link. So. Oh, gotcha. So she's going to try doing. So someone would just going to try and doing some. It. Yep. No, I like that. Also, I don't. I don't like once people make these memorials, I don't think they ever go back and look at them. Because uh -uh. most people aren't creating yeah. them for family. They're just doing, they're just creating yeah, they're, it. So, yeah. I, I think it would be a rare circumstance where, you know, someone would complain about that. It's so. nice. Nice that we don't have to go in and edit the profiles now, too. So that'll, that'll save you some yeah all right well it's good talking with you yep yeah. bye-bye bye kathy bye, bye.